It's hit a bit of a flashpoint, the negotiations between the players and the NRL, and sitting in the background is the NRL v the clubs. I'm wondering what's worse. I mean, Todd Greenberg uh, seemed put out by the fact that uh, the players had gone public, but is it any worse than the NRL misrepresenting the players' proposal to the clubs privately? I, I mean, just because it's happened behind closed doors, it eventually found its way into the public domain, and everyone's angry now. Look, I'll tell you something about this. This is all rubbish that they play. They've agreed to negotiate privately and keep it there because I know people from the NRL have gone out and, and publicly speak about this. Not publicly, privately speak to people in the public domain, such as myself, about what's going on in the negotiations. Which eventually finds its way into uh, the public domain. Of course domain. it's going yeah. to find its public domain. It's naive to think it won't. It, the, the Players Association put a 66-page document to the NRL about what their proposals are. Now... Within that, the NRL took it, sent an email to all the clubs, and the Players Association claimed that that, that, that 66 page document was totally misrepresented, it was exaggerated, other parts were left out of it, and basically it was designed to be inflammatory towards the clubs to get the clubs offside with the players. What they've in fact done is the clubs have sat back, seen it for what it is, and the, player, the clubs are now siding with the players. So, Buzz, the Rugby League Players Association have responded uh, to the NRL's claims that went out to the club. Club uh, went out to the clubs, and you've got an update on that email, which uh, I think the, the major details are here on the screen right now. Yeah, that's exactly right, Ben. We will be publishing an email tomorrow that the RLPA has sent back to the clubs to dispute what the NRL said in the first place. And look, they're on a totally different page. They're $170 million apart mm -hmm. in what they think players should earn, the, the minimum salary going up from 85 to 120,000. I don't think anyone's, you know, disputing that. And well, no one's complained about no, that. No, but the bottom line is with the players, and it's unprecedented for two of the biggest names, Cronk and Smith, to come mm. out within 48 hours of an Origin game mm. to talk anything but Origin, but that's how fired up they are. Yeah. And look, I've been working on a story all day with Peter Bedell at the Courier Mail. We have information that they do have an industrial campaign um, mm. for later in the year. Which would that, include? Well, they don't want to ruin origin. They don't want to ruin club rounds because it'd be unfair if they called a club round off for a team that's, you know, got to win mm. a game of footy and that. I think they're aiming at the World Cup, which would be a major thing because just about every player in the World Cup, whether they're Samoa, Tonga, Great Britain, Australia, New Zealand, they're all part of the RLPA. Mm. So that would seriously put the tournament in jeopardy. Because the other thing sitting in the background here, of course, is the apparent dysfunctional relationship between the chair of the Australian Rugby League Commission, John Grant, and the CEO of the NRL, Todd Greenberg. Yep. Has that moved forward? Is that any different from what we believed it to be last week when they were seemingly on totally different pages? Well, John Grant's famous you know, 2.45am email to all the, uh, mm. the stakeholders essentially said that he's going to bring someone in, uh, Tony McGrath, from the Commission to oversee Todd Greenberg and Tony Crawford at the NRL, which is unprecedented uh, and, and I think damaging to, to Todd. Uh, I, I believe that the, the narrative that's now being put out was is that, first off, John Grant claimed publicly that he had no knowledge of what Todd presented to the clubs, mm. but there is an email trail that shows he does. But then the, the follow-up to that is that John Grant was not so much happy, didn't say that he, he didn't know, but he was unhappy with the way Todd presented it to the clubs, which is why they all got so fired up over it. So clearly things aren't happy there.